Hey guys, welcome to the new video of Tablet Tutorial and uh, today I will going to talk about how you can connect to your data sources. So to create any visualization, it is very important that you first connect to your data source. So let's connect to the very regular one that we usually find in our most of our organizations which work like the Excel one. So once I click Excel, here I have the sales file which I am giving you uh, in the in the uh, description section as a link that you can download and practice it with. So this is the sales that we have and let's open it. So it is doing some processing in the back end. All right, so here is the interface that is uh, given to us once it is it has imported all these three sheets that is present within the worksheet. Uh, or the uh, workbook so order sheet returns and users let's drag the orders sheet so here we have the orders the information about the orders and we have orders as a row id and then order id then order date order priority order quantity and uh, so and so forth these all various different columns all right uh, after this, you must be seeing some of these icons, which is mentioned over here, which is, let's say, order date. Uh, in case of order priority, low, high or not specified is ABC. And then hash in case of order quantity. So what they indicate basically, uh, click views, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the tab views. So I keep interchanging this term click view or tab view because I work in both the technologies and <laughs> produce the videos for both of them. So pardon me for that and uh, so here hash means uh, basically the numeric value it indicates it is the column contains numeric value and uh, order priority is basically character as it identified uh, and uh, that's why it has uh, predefined it as a column which contains text so but in some cases like this here in case of row id and order id they are these are definitely numeric values but these are not the ones which on which you will going to do certain operations for example some multiply and all so sometimes it is meaningful that you convert them into a proper format so what you can do is you can click over here uh sorry over here and put it like string whatever is uh, in right for this column string so it will consider it as not as a number so that accidentally if you are doing any operation it will not allow you to do in the front end and similarly click over here and put a string so that's about it about uh, how you can very simply go ahead and change the format and as it correctly identifies the date format as it is saying we don't have to do any change so if you identify anything else which you want to change you can do that apart from this uh, I want to indicate or uh, put a focus over here which is more sort of a globe icon and what it indicates that it's a geospatial data for use it in the map so click view has an uh, I'm sorry the tab view has an internal table which basically indicates that uh, this information is matching up with that table and if it is then it indicates that it is a map related information and by default specify it as a uh, you know state province as it is mentioned over here these different options that you can see and once you plot these values on the map it will correctly do that so province here in this case of region if you identify that it is a correct region then you go into the ge geographic role and say country region and then it will start identifying it a proper region all right so that's about your different formats that is available before you finally go and import it into the data uh, into the sheets and uh, once it is done what you can do is the other thing is uh, you can if you if there is a need of renaming the value so maybe discount customer name anything you know which is more of a technical and less of a business friendly you can go in and rename and you can simply you know type the value discount on orders so that will make it more meaningful so that's how uh, you can basically go in and uh, and you know rename apart from this there is a reset name if you want to come back to the original one 
you can copy, you can hide the values. You can create a calculated field, which is very important because mostly within the business scenarios, we have to create a field. So for example, profit, if something we want to create, uh, or in this case, it is already created, but let's say if we have a requirement, then when we can see what is the sales amount and uh, what is the cost amount and then subtract the cost from sales. All right, so you are done with all of this information. Uh, there is a small information on live or extract. So live is something, you know, uh, it is connected online or live connection. That means if there is anything changes in the Excel workbook or if you are supposed to connect to a server and if anything changes over there in a database, it will be changed over here. And uh, it is sometimes considered as a little bit slow as compared to the extract, where we say that uh, you want to extract all of the data within the click uh, the tabview system and then use it uh, in the workbook, which is stored in the memory and then definitely the operation is comparatively fast once you are doing any manipulation data visualization stuff like that so i suggest because you are learning this system uh, always put an extract so that you don't have to really face a kind of a technical issue or delays in terms of how the visualization is happening or refreshing and then uh, once you become a pro you can experiment with what is a better option for you and after this you can uh, uh, have add the filters as it is mentioned over here if there is any filter condition it's, it's very very simple so maybe like order priority and then you can say uh, you just want the data for order priority which is high and click ok click ok and it will filter up the data based on the order priority and then you can also have the option of specifying multiple filters keep on choosing and filtering the data if you want to remove this edit this or remove this simply go ahead and do it it's very very intuitive if you have used any uh, bi system or even if you have not used uh, it's just that uh, you should know where to go to do that particular oper operation and then just simply specify the values all right uh, sales is here apart from this uh, I will just go ahead and uh, mention about, uh, uh, let's say, returns and put it that if you have a requirement like this. And here in this case, it does not identify any common field. That's why it is shown as in sign of its exclamation. If I click over here, it shows, uh, gives us the multiple options of inner, left, right join or full outer join. Uh, let's say uh, you have multiple fields, but uh, what do we have order id in returns so it's mainly because uh, it's more of a order id where actual sales have happened and these are the returns which is probably not included over here and that's why it is giving you the issue well if you don't want this you can remove this and you can put users and see here in this case also you don't have the any common field on which or the data in which you can really uh, get the values out. So let's remove this. So the idea I want to give you is basically uh, the orders or the multiple tables that you can drag it over here. Like here in this case returns. It shows you the kind of uh, join it is creating. So here if it is highlighted uh, blue in, at the center that means inner join and then so on and so forth as it is very indicative about what kind of join it is creating for you. And if you want to change uh, on the field in which create it is creating join, then you can change it from here. Let's say uh, I don't want an order ID, but I want let's say customer name, maybe for example. If it is not present, then you may need to go back. But if it is present, you can specify the customer name over here. So that's that's about uh, how you can create joins and get the multiple tables over here. And uh, in the next video, I will talk about how you can uh, go ahead and create the sheets, create the visualization based on this data. So once you are done with this, you can click save. And once it is, it will ask you where to save it. So let's say test workbook, maybe here. Yes, so uh, let me save it in a document and just put a save. To save the workbook, you must either create the extract or cancel to use uh, live connection. 
All right, let's create the extract and let's create our sales. All right. And once we are done, we can come back to sheet where I will show you in the next video about how you can go ahead and create the visualization and use these various options, dimensions, measures given here and produce the stunning visualization for your users.